Hey, this video will be a beginner's tutorial on how to use a CNC machine like this one. And this will be coming from someone who has just learned how to use a CNC machine themselves for the first time. Okay, first you'll need to download this app off the internet. It's called Universal G-Code Sender, UGS. You need this to control the machine. Okay, then follow the included instructions. Mine came with the USB, download the contents required, and that will help you connect your computer to the machine. Okay, now connect your laptop to the CNC machine and scroll through this list to find the USB option. It's down the bottom. Click that and click connect. That shows that it's connected. Okay, so now we need to tell the machine what to cut. So put simply, we need to make a model in CAD first, and then second, we need to make the G code for it, which is basically telling the driver um, the instructions for how to cut it. So the easiest way I think to do it for a beginner is just to use the free website ESEL, E-A-S-E-L. It's pretty common for people to use this one. Um, you basically open the website and then you make your model in there. There's lots of internet tutorials on how to use it. It's pretty simple. And then you just basically tell it what drill bit you're going to use and what speed you want um, it to cut through it. So the feed rate and the plunge rate and the spindle speed is controlled on the side here. Um, so you basically just export that G-code and I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so what I want to do today is I want to cut my name into this pocket knife just down the bottom here. So I'm going to go into easel. I've chosen a font and written my name in the correct sizing. And now I want to choose how deep I'm going to cut my name into the material. So I click on the text and click cut. I'm going to set it to 0.1 millimeters. Enter. So you can see the color of that's changed. That means it's not going to be as deep anymore. I've chosen my drill bit, which is just the included basic 30 degree, 1 8 inch um, V bit. I've chosen that one because it's going to be really small text, so I need a really fine end mill bit to cut this. And then once I'm happy with that, I'll click project, download the G code. It's just one file because I'm only using one bit. Okay, just before I start, I just wanted to give you a bit of a tip, and that's how to remove the end mill from the collet. You'll find that once you loosen it all the way, it still doesn't come out, sort of like this. It's still stuck in there. Um, basically, once it engages again, you need to keep releasing it. Um, put your finger underneath to catch it. Um, yeah, so it's really important to get that extra bit of looseness on it. Okay, so now I've clamped down my pocket knife. I have zeroed the machine. That's telling it where I want it to start cutting from. Um, I've had to do this manually because my Z probe hasn't been working, but there's lots of tutorials on the internet about how to zero the machine. It's pretty simple. Now I'm ready to start it. Okay, just a side note. I think it's really important to wear safety glasses, especially while you're starting, just in case the drill bit snaps or anything flicks in your eye. Anyway, ready to start it. I'm just gonna press play and cross my fingers. And I hope that it works. Okay, looking good. Just notice that the pocket knife might be fully flat because on the on the right hand side it's engraving a little deeper and on the left um, not quite as deep. So I'm just gonna go back to easel and change the depth of my cut to a bit deeper, maybe 0.4 millimeters. Um, and that means I'll get the letters engraved all over the surface. Right, there's the final result. You can see the, um, the mason part came out pretty well, um, but the French didn't do too well. I guess that means that the, um, this part of the knife was a bit higher, this part was a bit lower, so the uh, end mill didn't really reach into that too well. Um, so yeah, I guess it's just important to make sure you're cutting into completely flat surfaces. So another reason that the pocket knife failed was because that it was made from steel. This machine's not really meant to cut into steel. Usually I cut into aluminium, which is a lot softer. And you can see it, it turns out a lot better. Um, this is a side sill protector for a car that I make. And you can see it's a lot nicer. Um, yeah, I hope this video helped. And um, if you have any questions, just comment and I'll try and answer them.